How to use the blob brush in Illustrator 221 and earlier versions well, PC and Mac. First thing to do, go and find the blob brush. It's over here, paintbrush tool, blob brush tool. Simply select that and then apply it using the current color, which is black. Now, if you go over here and apply it, say you put this to say red and set a stroke and then apply it, what it does, it doesn't do it particularly well. So best to set it after the event. Once you've applied it, change the colors, etc. then. So I'm just gonna use say red now and apply it like that. Got that design, it's a simple basic path. Simply just go up here and just change the stroke there. Now you will get the stroke that you think you should get, which is something like that. Another great thing about this is you've got options here, so you can set that say, to 12. You can also click on here and you've got width profiles. So you can create some nice interesting different designs just simply by changing the width profile. And that will change that. You can see that it just shrinks and that increases. Also, you can apply standard brushes as well. So just simply click there and you've got a brush stroke there. And again, just resize that. And you can see now you've got a blob brush with this applied brush design. And you can, of course, modify all the points in the blob. So direct selection tool and simply just go up here and just select individual points and modify it. So if you decide, you know what, I want to just change it slightly, select that and you can see what happens. It just moves and changes. It's just a standard path that generates. So just undo that. Now, there's a number of settings for this blob brush. So blob brush there, press turn, and you've got keep selected. That's probably the most useful one, but you might not want that, of course. So you can turn it off if you don't want that. So as you apply it, you'll see it just generates thing and you can see it's still selected. If you turn it off, it won't be selected. However, there is an option here. If I deselect that, so deselected, what do you do? Just go up here, go into the blob brush, press turn, and you'll see merge only with selection. So it needs to be selected. So if I say merge only with selection, now if I apply it over the top, it doesn't merge. If I go up here, press turn, and turn that off, and then apply the brush stroke, it will merge with it. So it just needs it basically to be selected or not. And you can create all kinds of different designs using that approach. What you can also do, you've got options here for fidelity, accuracy, I've got here smooth, so you can actually reduce that if you want, just to be more accurate, but it will create more points. So if I just go like that, and you can see the result maybe not so great, you've got a lot more points there. Smooth, personally, I prefer. So just gonna press turn and put it to smooth. But you can also change the size. So you've got here, just saying, maybe go for 180. What you can then do is if you've got a pen, something like this, you can simply go to fix, though for some weird reason, some of the options don't seem available, so it's just completely ignored the fact that I've got a, a pen. That's weird. There must be a preference or something for that. So you can set it to fixed, but I'm gonna go with random. If you've got pen, pressure, all those sort of things should be set up, so you should be able to modify each of the strokes using pressure. Obviously, I clearly have not got it set up correctly. However, variation, you can just change variation. Now, you can only push it up the variation up to the limit of 183 or whatever. So if you set that down to say 75 or 80, the variation can only go up to 80. However, this is for each brush stroke. So simply, it's not during the brush stroke. So if you apply the brush, you can see what happens. It's all the same. If you apply it again, you get a small. And that's what it's doing. It's varying it pi by individual brush strokes. And the same with the others as well. So if you just go up here, if I just change the other ones, and let's just go there to the blob brush again, press turn, you'll notice what you've got. You've got angle as well. Obviously not much use unless you change the roundness. So you can change the roundness and you can modify And that can also be random as well. And again, random there. And it obviously depends on the value. It goes up all over there. So you can rotate it. It's a bit more useful than this one where it just is limited by the actual size of the brush. And again, once you've done that, you can see what you can get. You can get a nice colorific design. That is very useful. But again, it's obviously just limited to each of the brush, but you can create all kinds of different calligraphic 
brush strokes. And you can see as you go across that, it joins with the other ones as well. In most cases, not there, of course. Now, one issue with this, say you go over here and I'm just going to press, oops, press return. And I'm just going to set that back. So let's just set those all back to zero. And variation. i just make that there. What you can do is you can apply the brush. However, if you go and change the color, so go make it say pink and then deselect. And now what I can do, if I go to the brush again, simply go there. I don't want that selected. Don't be selected. Go there and change the color. So if I go over here and change the color to say orange and now apply it, it will not join. So whatever you're setting, merge and use selection, doesn't make any difference. If it's a different color, it needs to be exactly the same color for it to join. And that's the same with pass as well, because you can use it with pass. So you can select that and you can go up here and just create and say something like that. Doesn't have to be a rounded rectangle. It can be anything, circles, etc. What you can do, go over here with the brush tool, again selected, and apply the brush. So you can apply it and that will be applied. So it's not just joining blob brushes with blob brushes, it's joining blob brushes with shapes. So you can create some real useful shape creator as well. So you can create all kinds of unique shape designs like that. But again, if you go and change, change the color, so go and make it there, yellow, deselect it, so just obviously so I can now set the color again and go over here to green say and then apply the blob brush it will not join with that design so you can see it just they're separate so it needs to be the same color and again once you've got that of course what you can do you can add strokes etc change create width profiles and many many more things as well now also what you can do with the blob brush you can apply up here to window and you've got appearance so window and appearance panel. This is one of the probably more useful panels. I really love the appearance panel. And you'll notice here, you've got, and I'm just gonna change it so it's not yellow. Go for red, say. So red design, apply the, change it there first, that helps. So you've got the thing there. Now you can see this appearance over here and it's got red. And again, you can change the stroke, all those sorts of things. If you want to make it black, just change things here. Like that but what you can also do you can go up here and go to the appearance and you go add new fill so there add new fill and you've got another one so you can go for say green now of course at this point it doesn't look very useful but what you can do you can apply effects to it so simply go to effects and maybe go for distort and transform say free distort so you can just distort that design and click OK and you can see what happens up because it's over the top of it. That's not going to help, but let's just drag it down just below. So now we've got, it's the same path. It's the exact same blob brush, but now you've got this design behind it. And of course, what you can also do, you can go and say, well, you know what? One effects. So say effects, blur and Gaussian blur. So you get a nice drop shadow effect to your blob brush stroke. So that's a nice way just by using the appearance panel. Now you can also do other things with the appearance panel, but you can also, with blob brush, you can apply a design like that. Maybe not to that. I'm just going to go with red again. Always best to change your color and things after you've applied it. Sometimes it just ignores. If you just go with black, it will just ignore it. You've got styles here, of course. You can change the style there. Very simple. You can also change opacity. So simply go to the opacity there. And you can also just simply use this path just as a normal path. Hold down the Alt or Option key, if you're depending on your PC or Mac, and simply drag. And you can then create some more interesting designs from that blob brush. And again, you can still manipulate that tool design with, say, direct selection tool and other effects. You can also use the blob brush with blend tools. So if you want to, apply, let's go down the blob brush, apply blob, and now, Apply another one there, and I'm going to change the color. So I'm just going to go change the color for that. So that's green and that's red. And also, of course, I can manipulate this design a bit. Maybe resize it, rotate it if it lets me. Oh, it's just going to let me do it eventually. 
Sometimes it doesn't. You just work. What you can do, go over here to the blend tool, simply click there and click there, and you can create a nice blend between those blob brushes. So you can create all kinds of unique designs. And again, what you can do, it's still live. So you can just go down here and you can manipulate the points of this blob brush and just create all kinds of weird and wonderful designs. Manipulate this as well. And of course, press return, change things for this. Say maybe go for specified steps instead of that. Maybe just go for 10, etc. So you can create interesting designs like that as well with the blob brush. Let's just remove that. So blob brush over there. There's thousands of other things to use with the blob brush. Whole loads of features in Illustrator you can combine it with. So there's also repeats. Repeats are super useful. So simply apply a brush like that and object and then go down to repeat and radial. So straight away you've got your radial design there and you can modify that, rotate it, increase the number of instances. Let's just remove the appearance panel now. Don't need that anymore. Change that and that sort of thing. Also, you've got other effects as well. You've got things like effect. 3D extrude and bevel, you can use that as well to create a nice 3D blob brush as well. Click OK. And of course, literally thousands more things. Well, I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials all the time about Illustrator and other applications. A dislike or like, always appreciated. Thank you much.